Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. I just got back from my friend John, KB1OYB's house, where I helped him and Craig, KC1ELZ, put up an NFED half wave antenna. Now I wasn't actually planning on recording this, but when I pulled into the parking lot, I realized the GoPro was on the seat next to me, so I figured I'd make a video out of this and show you guys what we were up to. A little bit of backstory here. John has lived in an apartment for the last five years and has not been able to have an outside ham radio antenna. He's had to make do with indoor antennas. But he just moved from that apartment on one side of the complex over to a townhome that was on the other side of the campus. And that townhouse happens to be up against the tree line. So perfect situation for having uh, an antenna up. Now he can't have the antenna up permanently He's probably only going to be able to deploy it on the weekends and maybe in the evenings when management leaves. But we think we came up with a good plan and you guys are going to see it next. So what, what are we trying to do? We're putting up a, a, a 66, I'm sorry, 64 foot wire. And what we're trying to do is get that 64 foot piece of wire up in a tree. At the bottom of that wire, when you get it up there, is a 29 40. 29 to 1 balance. It's a 49 to 1. Okay. Shame on me. My no memory. worries. Anyway, that goes at the bottom of the wire. So you just this, put, you put that, that's a pretty cool case. You put that in an old That's a iPhone That's an thing. iPhone case. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sealed with some tape. Not totally weatherproof, but anyway. Good enough. Coax in one end. Ground poise, if you're lucky enough to have some on this end, which I do have in the car. But the wire coming down from the tree goes on there. It's that simple. <laughs> you lay it on the ground. When you're all done, pack it all up and head home. My friend uh, uh, Craig has the equipment. Hey, KC1ELZ here from up the Constitution Channel. Several things I found that I've, I've used regular um, recurve bows, and I also use this little Amazon uh, Prime 80-pound uh, um, crossbow pistol but I use um, fiberglass rod that you see stuck in next to driveways and stuff it oh yeah it's just a driveway stake isn't yep. it? yep I drilled the end of it and uh, glued in a nail so that it pre-weights the front end so it has a better lead on it oh nice and then I put a tail on the thing with a quick disconnect loop so that I can hook up to my now you're probably not going to see this here very well but this is spider wire see it a little bit yeah yeah this is probably 60 or 80 pound test spider wire i forget exactly and i found that if you use a smaller uh uh reel it doesn't feed as well but with this larger reel a larger open face this thing feeds like crazy with the spider wire so we're going to uh, load this and then I'll uh, release the bale and we're going to shoot from right about here next to this dead tree up over those lead branches way up there and uh, this thing should drop right down again because the spider wire weighs nothing for drag um, yeah so we're going to see how this goes do is just point that rascal right up there at those those okay. branches Okay. Oh, safety. <laughs> of course. Anything deadly needs a safety. <laughs> yeah, now the breeze is up again. Wow. Notice how it comes. Right down. Look at that. Straight down. That works great. Yeah, yeah that's right up there in the tree. We're not going to see that in the video, but it's it's right up over the highest branch there. Good deal. We've got to have one length of paracord coming all the way over. All the way over, right. Yeah. yeah. And the wire so is, let's is start. on the other end. Put your line on that and pull it up over. No, or is that in? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. All right, so we've got the paracord tied onto the spider wire. I'm just got reeling that over. pound trout on here. There you go. Yeah, I see him. He's well, fighting. Bullhead. You know, so they just lay there. Whoops, hold on, you're going to pull me up. The cameraman's going to go up in the tree in a minute. <laughs> we go up and, the, and we don't pull the wire over the limb. 
just the rope and when the wire reaches the limb we pretty much stop yeah. and tie it off. I can get that for you if you want. This is the knee and elbow pose. <laughs> yeah, we got the on-on down here, right? Yeah. 49 yeah. to 1. We're going to hook up the meter, but we've got the antenna wire up in the tree. This thing is just about vertical here up in the tree. So we should be good to go. But we're going to check it first just to make sure. We're at 21 just for fun. Middle of that band, 21, 340, 338, 339, 336, okay? 1.6, that's not bad right all. there. Should be good. Now that's that's 15 meter. Yep. Okay, yep. let's try 17. You might find that on uh, 17, the if you ground. want counterpoise wire. Counterpoise. That might help that. Yeah, okay. Let's go to 14, 14, 225. Oh yeah, and you gotta, I, you gotta shoot a little contact cleaner in there. Yeah, or I'm gonna take that apart. Yeah, I, I got a dead spot in this in this pot right here. Batteries? Yeah. No, there's something wrong with the um this, this pot. Geometer. Yeah, or, I don't know if it's a pot or a cap or what it is, but so you finally got the control cleaned up and it's. I looking, guess yeah. So I'm gonna it's take. It's looking this, pretty good. Yeah. I'll take this apart and spray the controls. Uh, Seven point two three eight. That's not too bad. You get a little reactance radio. there. One point five. It could be the coax or something. Stuff, but not bad. Very acceptable, uh, really. Yeah. One point five. Record player. Yep. That You'll be all set. Twenty eight four twenty five two point one. A little high, but the tuner will take care of that. Yeah. 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 So you got this end in the screen and ready for when you want to use the yeah, radio that goes which is inside the window which is right there behind the, the radio is right there so we'll run the coax over here the end of the yeah, antenna I'm done. it's just we'll over here was that about 50 feet maybe and then the antenna is here almost dead vertical yeah, up into the tree down. and then when he's all done or during the day when management's here <laughs> you can yeah. coil up the coax and put it inside or whatever and then this can kind of coil back over here to this tree over here and we're even using the green paracord so it's camouflaged the landscape guy shouldn't bother with it even when the wire is rolled up here so john should be good to go i think john's going to be pretty happy with this compared to what he's had for the last five years anyway now before you go don't forget to check out craig's channel up the constitution i'll leave a link down in the description below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.